Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my winter project use it up. I have a few empties to show you guys. I have some progress and I have some new things that I'm introducing. So I'm super excited to go ahead and get on into the video. So we're going to start with my favorite part and that's the empties. So I do have four empties here. So I will start off with the body cream in white pumpkin and chai. Um, when I last updated you guys, I had 4.9 ounces in here and it is completely used up. Um, I really wanted to finish this before it went uh, sour on me because it was starting to, um, but this one was so good. This is honestly such a good scent for uh, fall and even winter time. The scent notes are cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. So I really enjoyed this one. I hope they continue to bring it out every fall because um, it's honestly so yummy. Another fall scent that I finished up is pink velvet cupcake. No, sorry, pumpkin cupcake in the hand cream. And I love the hand cream formula, but I've realized that pumpkin cupcake is not my favorite scent in body care. So we'll not be repurchasing it again in body care or anything like that, but I did finish it up. The next thing I finally finished up after a year's worth of use, and if you know what it is, comment it down below right now. I'll give you a second because the OGs know what it is. Pink Velvet Cupcake. I just, I misspoke earlier and said it already, so you guys probably knew. But I finally finished my Pink Velvet Cupcake fragrance mist. Here's all the progress lines from when I was trying to finish it literally the entire year. Mr. Drag Racer, can you not right now? By the way, guys, I live right next to a highway, so I apologize if you hear that in the background. Um, but finally finished it off. I'm so excited. Um, also, just don't mind this, but I totally used a pair of scissors to just scratch out the packaging so I could finally see inside of it. So if you need to do that with your, with your um, body mist, you can do that as well. But the scent, you guys, it's so beautiful. I hope they also bring this one back next year. I tried to look at it, look for it at SAS and I couldn't find it. But I love this scent. It is so amazing. And I will definitely be repurchasing it because it is so good. The next thing that I finished off and actually the last empty that I have is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. This is the macadamia and rice milk one. This is a super, super gentle um body scrub so if you guys are looking for a gentle one i definitely recommend this one but it was really nice and smooth and i enjoyed it it didn't really have too much of a scent so i feel like my sensitive skin girlies would really enjoy this um but yeah finish that one off so that's all the empties let's go ahead and get into progress so i'm gonna start with the shower gels the first one i have is christmas cookies so here is where i started it um in the challenge last month at i think i started this december 1st right here and now we're down to here i got a fair amount of progress um but i will be taking this one out of the project because i'm going to put something else in that i actually want to finish up first um but it's a really good scent honestly i can use this year round because it just smells like cookies it smells so good mm, it's a beautiful scent so i will be taking this out of the project but i did get a fair bit of use on it and i'm happy about that so the next shower gel that i have is a winter candy apple and i will be keeping this one in because i want to finish it um i feel like this one really is only a winter scent i started it also pretty much at the top and now we are down to here a little bit more progress on that one um, and I'm going to go ahead and mark it, but I will continue to work on this one and put it back in my shower to just try and finish it up during this winter project. Another thing in my shower is the Onyx Bathhouse Foaming Body Scrub. This sucker is harsh, not harsh, but it's very abrasive. And um, I've used a lot of it, actually. I was about halfway last time, and now I'm pretty much almost done. I only have like this corner left, so this will probably be maybe four or five more showers. So I expect to finish this off um, before the next update in February. I think this project I'm going to continue into February and then end it in March. Uh, and then in March, I will start the spring one. So that's what I think I'm going to do for that, but I'm definitely gonna finish this off. Um, this is also in the scent Toasted Marshmallow, in case you guys were wondering. Sorry, didn't say that earlier. I don't think I did, maybe I did. I don't know. I had too much coffee this morning, if you can't tell. I'm talking so fast. But yeah, that's the progress that I got on this body scrub. On to the perfumes that I've been using. I have Victoria's Secret Tea's Heartbreaker, and I did get a fair bit of use on this one, so if you can tell, the last update line is right here, and then I used it that much. I 
kind of have been slacking on using this every single day. I use it more like every other day, but I still got a lot of progress on it. I'm going to continue to use it. I actually really enjoy this scent and I'll probably purchase it in a full size once I finish this um, at their next perfume sale because it's really good. Or maybe I'll ask for it for like my birthday or something. So I enjoy this a lot and I will continue to use it and continue to try to finish it up. At the pace that I'm at, I could probably finish it in about two months if I go back to using it every single day. So pretty excited about that. Um, the Floriental Brown Sugar Dossier Perfume, which is um, supposed to be similar to YSL Mon Paris. I did not get a lot of progress on this. I actually don't think I used it. Maybe I used it once. I honestly don't think I got any progress on it. Look, <laughs> I just remarked where it was earlier because it kind of wore off, but yeah, it doesn't look like I got any progress, does it? Oh, maybe a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's almost too floral for me. I think I'm going to take this out of the project and give it a rest and continue to do the Victoria's Secret perfume for now. And yeah, I'll take this out of the project because obviously I didn't use it. So I'm just going to, just going to, just going to take it, just going to take it out. Sorry about that. Um, the next thing I have are my mists, which this um, winter project, I actually wanted to switch up how I go about using up my mists and projects. So basically what I've been doing was I just like put in a bunch of mists and try and use all of them. Well, this go round, I designated one mist per week until I, you know, switch to the next week. So this one actually finished up in a few days, so it didn't last for a whole week. But the other ones I used for a whole week just to see how much progress I could get on them. Um, I think the first one I ended up using was Whipped Dream from Victoria's Secret Pink. This is Cake, Sprinkles, and Vanilla Caramel. So there's that one. The progress that I got on it, it started out right up here, and now we're down to here. So a fair bit of progress. I'm pretty happy about that, not going to lie. I feel good. So I'm going to keep this one in the project and continue to use it up. It actually is a really, really nice, simple scent. I think I'm going to leave this at my work and see how much I can use it up um, just at work. But I really enjoyed this scent, it's very nice. And then another one that I am gonna keep in the project is Coconut Mint Drop. You guys know this one's so yummy, I love it so much. Um, we, we were right here when we first started, and let me go ahead and mark it, because you can't see it, but I can see the sun shining through this packaging and where the progress line is. So it's actually not a lot, which is kind of sad, but that's the progress from right up here to down here. Not a lot at all. So I'm definitely going to keep it in the project and try to use it a lot more um, this week and probably next week. So I will keep this bad baby in. And then this one I am going to take out of the project. It is Christmas cookies. Let me go ahead and mark it again because it's one of those packaging types that I can see it, but you guys probably can't. So here we go. Here's the progress from right about here to down here. Not too much, um, but that's like a week's worth of usage. And I really try to use these a lot. So I'm kind of surprised there wasn't more usage out of them, but that's all right. I'm going to retire it because it honestly can be used any time of year. So I don't really feel like I need to finish it up right now. So I'm going to take this one um, out of the project. Another thing that actually started out completely unused is the peppermint essential oil, um, aromatherapy body lotion. So this one just smells like peppermint. It's actually really, really nice. I have been using it um, with my hand soap. So I have it like right next to my hand soap. Once I dry off my hands after washing them, I'll put this on and let me go ahead and mark the progress. You can like barely see it because this glass is so dark, but I will show you guys where it is. So it's right about here where I, where I started it and then we are down to here. So I got this much use out of it. Not bad. I'm going to continue to use it like that as a hand lotion. I actually really enjoy it like that. So I'm going to continue using it. I think I'll even keep it in after the winter project because I feel like just like a peppermint uh, hand lotion is really good. So I will keep that one in the project. And then the last thing that I'm keeping in the project, I have some new things, but we're not going to talk, th talk about those yet. Um, the next thing is Winterberry Wonder in the Body Butter. This one I had about um, a third used, and I used it a little bit more. I honestly didn't use it too much because it wasn't super cold here, um, but it's actually been super cold here the last couple of weeks. So I have used it a handful of times, not a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna continue to use it up and um, 
it's a really good scent, but I can't imagine that I will actually finish it in this project. Just try and get a lot more use out of it. So, oh, and then I did forget, <laughs> I have this sweet whiskey hand lotion that is about a little more than halfway used and I'm gonna keep this in the project. Okay, now for the fun stuff, this is all the new stuff. So first I have two hand lotions. The first is in hot cocoa and cream. I feel like this one I really won't like using any other time except for the winter time. So I'm gonna put it in right now. Um, I think I got it at the minis sale day. Such a good scent. It smells just like powdered hot chocolate. It's so yummy. I've been loving this. I have it in my bag to go to work with and it's so, so, so good. And then I have Merry Cookie on my bedside table right now. I've just been using it pretty much every night before I go to bed and I really enjoy it. It's just like a nice, simple cookie scent. So can't go wrong with that. Okay, next a few moisturizers that I will be putting in. The first one is strawberry pound cake, but I'm gonna leave it this way. Um, we, I would say maybe we're about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that on the bottle. But I retired this out of the summer or fall project and I really didn't have that much left. Like see, I could use this in like less than two weeks and be done with it. So I'm going to try and finish this one up get it out of my collection. This is a great scent anyway, so I will have no qualms with that, but I don't have an actual body lotion formula in the project right now, so I will put this one in, well, I guess I have this one, but I'm not using it as body lotion. I'm using it as hand lotion, but yeah, I'm gonna put this one in the project and hopefully get it finished up real quick. Another one that I actually just like started using on my own is coconut mint drop in the body cream. I wanna finish this off because I feel like it's probably gonna go bad if I wait until next winter but also it's just such a beautiful scent. It is so good. So very happy to put this one in the project because I love it. And we are at 5.7 ounces already measured it. Um, I measure it on, my mom has like a shipping scale. So I just measured it on that. If you use shipping scales to ship stuff or if you use uh, measuring scales to measure like baking, you could just measure your body products on that. But yeah, that's what I did. And it's, it's already like pretty much, you know, it's getting there, okay? So it's not gonna take me long to finish this one up and I really love it. So I'm excited to do that one. I will thoroughly enjoy using it and also finish up pretty quickly. I am gonna put in the new body scrub. This is the Sunrise Woods Creamy Body Scrub. This is my first time experiencing this formula of body scrub from Bath & Body Works and I really love it. It's also a super gentle one, just like the Dove one. So I've been using this one maybe every other day. It's really nice when I don't want like an abrasive scrub, but I just wanna get get my you know skin flowing, get the blood flowing, I don't know. It's really, really good. The scent notes are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. Um, when I hold it up to the light, I'm about right here on the product. So I'm just gonna mark it right there and we will attempt to get some more use. So it's down about right here. So I feel like it won't take me too long, but I've been really enjoying this one in the shower anyway. So I figured I'll just put it in the project and try and focus on using it up and I know I'll enjoy it. I'm gonna pull in some body washes. The first one is white pumpkin and chai. I um, retired this one from the fall project use it up, but I'm gonna bring it back in because pretty much we're at halfway and I feel like I could use it up really quickly. And I don't really wanna keep it for next year. So here is where we are right now. This is where I ended it in the fall project and I'm gonna bring it in. It's a really good scent. You can't go wrong with it. It's really nice. So I'm just excited to use this while it's cold outside and get it used up. The next thing I'm bringing in is the Strawberry Pound Cake Moisturizing Body Wash. This is at, I believe, 8.9 ounces. If I hold it up to the light, we're about right here on the on the um, packaging. So I'll just mark that and go off of that for future. But I do actually really enjoy this formula of moisturizing body wash. And then this scent, I feel like will be really good to start using when I use that body lotion. So yeah, I feel like this will be a really good one to transition me into uh, early spring. And probably I'll still have this for the spring project as well. But I do wanna just start getting some use on it. And then the last thing that I am bringing into the project because I did pull out a body mist, I am pulling in the Velvet Sugar Fine Fragrance Mist. This one's so pretty. I use this pretty much every year around um, February for you know for Valentine's Day because I feel like it's so fitting, it's super cute. But I have a few like special occasions that are coming up soon. So I will bring this for that and I'll probably use this for those. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it where it's at. Looks like I did have it in the project last year. I have a few lines, very small progress, but I'm gonna try and really focus on this one. It's such a good scent. I honestly don't why, don't know why I don't use it more, but I feel like it's um, 
stronger than most of the scents that I use. So that's probably why it doesn't have a lot of progress on it yet, but I do, I do want to use like a lot of it, maybe even down to like the sugar. I feel like that's a good area for me to use and get some progress on it. So this one I'm actually really excited about because I really do enjoy the scent. It's very pretty, very sophisticated, very grown woman, but still like fun and flirty. So I really like this one. I'm excited for that. So that is everything for my winter project use it up update number one. I will have a second update in February and then the finale in March. So that's everything for today's video. Let me know down below what are you using and enjoying in the winter time right now. For me, it is most definitely Coconut Mint Drop. She is my boo. She is my favorite. So I've been loving her. But yeah, let me know down below what have you been using? What are you um, really happy about finishing up? For me, of course, Pink Velvet Cupcake, but you already knew that. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!